Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create newsletter like content in Microsoft Power Automate. So while you send email and you can customize the content of your email, do you also know you can send sort of newsletter to your audience, uh, you know, in terms of the look and feel of this email? All right. So to do this, I will be making use of a few services. One of that is Power Automate. I'm right there. These are the two action cards I'll be using, the manual trigger, which is my trigger, and then they send an email connector. The second service we will need is uh, email template generation, you know, software or service. And I'm going to recommend Stripo, you know, Stripo.email. When you go there, they have a free account which I've registered. You can go ahead and check their uh, pricing list. They are free. That allows you to customize and even export up to four, you know, per month, four templates per month. Okay. And right here, I've checked in and I've created the template as it's drag and drop and this is what I have with me so I have a format that looks like this I've embedded my link from YouTube right here estimated delivery you know I've just made these settings okay and um, so when we are done when you are done with this formatting your email look and feel then you should click on export you're gonna see I have four export every month I need HTML um, I need HTML code, so I'm going to say show HTML code. So it's going to run and generate. This is the HTML code. I'm going to click on copy to clipboard. Then I'll come back right here to my Power Automate flow. I mean, I'm going to delete this content and turn it to code edition, which is the code view. And right here, I'm going to paste my code. All right, now I have everything pasted and I just want to customize a place which is called hello name. I want to put the name of that person there. So I'm going to come back here. It's a very long list, you know, of codes. So I might have to press control F so that I can locate the exact place and type hello. So it's going to take me right there, hello name. Okay. And for the name, I need to change it. So I don't even know what it will be now. So let's go back to our connector, um, our trigger and just add an input, make it a test input and call it your name so that's where we have to input the name so i have your name as a variable then i can come back and say control f just still looking for hello and come back here and delete name and look for your name right here this is your name and look for your name right here this is your name i'm going to insert it so definitely going to mention the name of that person so i'll save this okay it's saved so i'm going to go back up i can close this action card now and I'm going to test it. When I'm testing my flow, I'm going to click on test. Of course, it's going to log into the connector. Yeah, it's done. I'm going to request for my name. I'm going to put Olan Rewaju. Yeah, I'm going to click on run flow. Flow runs successfully. So let's check my email and see the look and feel of that email content and template. All right, I have the email right in my mailbox. I can see all that purchase successfully. I'm going to click on it. Amazing. Do you see this? I'm going to, I mean, even the image has displayed. There's really nothing left out here. Then you book your course is on the way. You can see a low learn about you in bokeh. I have the video from my YouTube. I have everything just as customized. This is amazing. So for example, if I click on view order, it's going to take you to uh, a place. If I click on check the course, it's going to take you somewhere. If I click on awesome, it's going to take you somewhere. And you can define where it's taking you to, you know, in terms of the content of the email, the link. Uh, it's taking me back to this side because I didn't actually define that. But right here in the code, I can change the link or go back to the editor, change the link. For example, uh, this view order, if I wanted to take me to a particular place, I can just Copy this, look for the link to my YouTube channel, uh, so my video, this is one which I have, and I'm done there, it's going to save, and when I'm exporting, it's going to export with that particular link, so, right here we're done, we are done, and you can see, you can have email content, you know, that is very dynamic and looks so really cool, like newsletter, you can even create as a newsletter, using Power Automate, alright? I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to this YouTube channel to see more content like this. Bye for now.